I'm now going to make a different flavour ice cream. So in my bowl so far, I've got my cream, 300 ml of double cream, and I've got my whole can of condensed milk. To those, I'm going to add some cocoa powder. And it's up to you how much you add. This is going to make a chocolate ice cream, so there's no need to actually add chocolate to it. So I'm putting two tablespoons of cocoa powder. I can always put a bit more later if I need to. And exactly the same method as with the vanilla ice cream. I'm just going to whisk that for five or six minutes, probably. It'll be a bit strange getting that cocoa in first of all, so it goes slow. Don't be put off by the strange colour that it goes. It will come out looking like chocolate ice cream, I promise. Starting off slowly, once the cocoa's mixed in, I'm going to turn it up to full speed and whisk it the same as before. As I'm going to be adding a chocolate orange aero, I'm also going to put in some orange extract. So a couple of teaspoons or a couple of lids full of that. Same as with the vanilla, you can add more if you want to. You probably find that the cocoa um, thickens the mixture faster than just whisking it up plain. Uh, so that's only taking two or three minutes this time. So exactly the same as the vanilla ice cream, I'm now going to stir in and this time you'll be able to see if it's gone in. So there's my soured cream going in and I can feel it a lot thicker because obviously the cocoa is um, a dry consistency and it's thickened up that mixture. At this point taste it, see if it needs any more orange extract or any more cocoa. If you wanted to put some Nutella or anything now you would swirl that through. You might need to warm it a little bit in the microwave if it's a bit solid. You can mix it in completely or you could swirl it and have a marble block. Right, so I am going to add a little bit more orange to that. And again, little at a time, you can always add more, but if you overdo it, you can't take it out. If you're using a salted caramel extract, you really do need to be careful because it's quite strong. You could use peppermint, you could use lemon. There's lots of different flavours that you can get. So again, make sure you go right to the bottom. You can see through the side of the bowl if there's any that you've missed and haven't mixed properly. I'm adding in some chocolate. It's um, the little version of a chocolate aero. So all I'm going to do is put it on a chopping board and using a chef's knife, I'm going to just start with my hand on top of the knife, cut down and along it. So we've got slices. It's up to you. You could use chocolate chips. You could have chopped up buttons. Um, if you put in chocolate in, it's up to you how chunky you want it to be. Or fine crumbs, you just get a bit of texture. The Bischoff paste works, um, the spread, biscuits broken up. Anything goes really. The only thing I think is not as successful if you use like a fresh fruit like strawberries without making them into a bit of a compot we cook them with a bit of sugar because if they're too wet they will just freeze like chunks of ice so i'm just going to fold that in or you could layer it up in the pot that you're going to freeze it in sprinkle some on top if you want to i think if i was going to do that i'd need a second bar so again that's ready to go into my container So that's my one litre container, a little bit fuller this time, but still got quite a bit left in there. So you need a one and a half litre container, two at the most. And it now needs to go in the freezer, probably about five or six hours or overnight is best. <laughs> 